until those muscles get strong. If you stop using them, they just get weaker and weaker, and then you're at more risk of getting injured. And you know what? I've been here 40 years. There's a reason I'm still here. It's because I do everything safe, and we're still here. Let's do four more, because this feels so good. Two more. Now let's go to the back. So both arms, lift it up. Lift it up. So remember, if you're not comfortable standing up, you feel a little off balance, feel free to either lean your leg against the chair or sit down in the chair with Carlene. And that'll help take some of the stress off your legs. No pressure here. We just want you to do your best. Let's do four more here. Two more times. So that's upper or rear delt or upper back. Now let's run with one foot and let's do a row. So reach and pull. Reach and pull. So you're reaching that leg back. Then you got that grasshopper on. Pulling that elbow up. Pull it up. So last. A little bit of rhomboid back there. Rear deltoid again. Pull. And we're working your glutes. Work those buns. Let's do four more. Three. Two. One more time. Let's switch sides. It's down and pull. Down and pull. Now you can make your lunge as big as you want. So if you want a little bit more out of that leg part, go bigger. Nice and strong. Pull that elbow up. Don't forget to breathe. Nice deep breaths. Two, four more. Four. Three. Woo! One more time. Now let's walk those feet way up. Nice wide squat right here. Hammer curl. Down and up. Down. So hammer, because you're holding it up and down. Tummy's tight. Big toe up. Knees and toes should face the same direction. If you want to just hold it at the bottom, that's fine too. You can hold it here. Just in the arms. That's fine too. Woo! Let's do four more. Two more. One. Feet closer. Push back. Now push back. So I want you to squeeze the back of your arm. Squeeze it tight. Push. And push. So these are your flags, people. One of my ladies told a funny story. She says, I need to put the American flag and tattoo it on the inside of my arm. So when I wave, that my flag waves too. I thought, but that's Denise. She's hilarious. She is not fat. And she does not have flabby arms. So that's what makes it funny. Four more. Three more. And she is there every day working her butt off. All right, let's take that leg back. And out to the side. Out to the side. So why do we do so much on your back? Because we slouch too much. We overstretch that muscle, it just gets weaker and weaker. And so we want pretty shoulders and a pretty upper back. And this is how we get it. You've got four more here. Four, three, two, switch it sides. Here we go. Lift it up. So you're lifting it to the side, you're flying like a bird. Push. And squeeze. Woo! Keep on dancing. Yeah, come on. Pull. Pull. Can you do four more that side? Four. Three. Two. All right, bring it back in. Try it slow. Up to. Down to. Up to. Down to. Now try to lock out that elbow when you get to the back, okay? Lock it and release. So we're going slow. You're not going to hurt yourself going slow and locking a joint. Now, if I did this fast, I would say, uh-uh, don't lock. But you can do it now because you're so strong. Let's do four more just like that. Push and in. And push. Those hurt like the dickens, right? Woo! One more time. All right, now just hold those weights down, light grip, lace the shoulders. 
shoulders up. Raise them up. So we get a lot of neck pain. I can totally sympathize. And again, what do we need to do? We need to work the muscles so that they can support the neck better. We gotta make it stronger so you can handle. Now I want you to pull up and roll back. So up, roll back. Up, roll back. So you already know how to roll forward, right? You roll forward when you eat. You roll forward when you're on a computer. You roll forward when you read. So we know how to do that. What we don't do is roll back. So I want you to know how to get those shoulders down and back. Two more, because I believe in miracles. All right, bring it in. Shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. All right, so cheer people. You're gonna cross those weights across your chest. You're gonna drop it down and push it up. Everybody, down. Now, those of us standing, you're squatting, yes. Those of you um, standing, you can just leave your weights by your side. What do we need to remember? Big toe up. Stick your butt up. Flat back. Sit. And push up. Squeeze your back. Ready? Down. And squeeze. Just down. And squeeze your butt cheeks. Punch them together. Squeeze it up. Woo! Down. And pull up. Working those booties. You're a sexy thing. Come on. Two more times. One more time. That felt so good. You're gonna pulse it down for three. Three, two, one. Now if you're in a chair, you may not want to do that pulse. I'll let you pick. You can do it slow with Carlene, doing a regular squat, or you can try to pulse right over that chair. It's up to you. This comes in handy. Think porta potty. That's all I need to say. Don't touch the seat. And up. Down. And up. Two more. Woo! One more time. All right, chair people, have a seat. We got a bicep curl again. Squeeze it. Come on, pull. Now, let's change it a little. Let's go wide and narrow. Go wide and narrow. So if this is too fast, just slow it down. No big deal. Song's a little bit fast. Woo! So my step, two muscles. Trying to trigger both of them here. Outer, little bit inner. Outer, little bit inner. Two more times. Sets, sets. One more set. Woo! All right, bring it in. Rotate. Rotate up. So I want you to focus on the out. Ready? Out. Out. Huh? Okay. <laughs> we try to synchronize over here as best we can. Pull. So feel that in your shoulders. Oh, yeah. Not hard, right? Should feel pretty good. All right, here we go. Tricep press. So tomorrow, I want to see posts about your arms being really sore. That would make my day. Totally made me so happy. Woo! So I'm gonna try to hit each body part at least two times. That's my goal when I set this up today. Woo! Four more times. Four. Three. All right, we're gonna go to a lunge with that row on. So it's reach, pull, and pull. Woo! Come on, reach it back. Pull it up, don't fall. And pull it up. Pull. Pull. So working that bun, the one, the front leg, that's the butt cheek you're working. So make a note of that one. Great. Woo! All right, let's switch sides. Here we go. Reach. Pull. Pull. So what have we not worked on today yet? Bet you can guess. We haven't done our chest. So we're gonna take it down to the ground just a second and get some chest work, okay? So remember, you get down using your chair. Hold on, two more. One more. Everybody else, put one knee on the floor. Put your hand down. 
bring yourself down onto your back. Now, if you want to stay in your chair and just lean back, totally fine. Just make sure it's a solid chair and that you feel safe on it. It's not going to tip over. So let's lay it down. We got our push ups. Ready? Here we go. Up. shoulder 
hands to the knee, elbows still goes to the ceiling, you are not pulling on your head. Do not pull on your head. You can push down into your hands, that's okay, but don't yank to the neck. Keep going, pull, are you breathing?
minutes a day. 60 would make me happier. And you guys, feel free to pick different choices. Maybe do yoga tomorrow. Maybe vacuum and garden on Friday. You know, like pick different things. That's called cross training. All right, holding that leg, you can either swing it up or roll it on your side and push yourself up. Okay? All right, so let's sit nice and tall. Put your feet wherever you want, don't care. Just sit nice and tall. Let's roll those shoulders up and back one more time so we can work on our good posture. So during the day, like every 15, 20 minutes, if, especially if you've been like this, like on your computer, sewing, knitting, whatever it is you're doing, reading. Get yourself up, sit up straight, roll those shoulders down and back. Just like this. All right, now roll that head gently side to side. Get rid of any of that stress in your neck. Just easy peasy. Now look right and left, stretch out that neck. And then drop that ear to your shoulders, super easy. So you still need to go do one more workout unless you came to the pool. And don't forget the pink ribbons for the rest store tomorrow, 10 to 2. You can go shopping. We got some good stuff. All right, bring it in. Take a nice deep breath in, fill it up. Blow it out, give yourself a great big hug. Say, I am amazing. And you guys go out and have a great day.